Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today we'll be learning the third and final solo break from what has kind of become a wagon wheel series on this channel. So I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, as always, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to The Tune Project, I invite you to click that red subscribe button below and click the bell as well so that you can be notified every time I post a new video, which I do every single week. And real quick, I also wanted to mention that I am now taking sheet music requests. So, and I have been for a little bit now, but in case you missed the memo, if you have any requests for sheet music of any of the songs that I've played on my channel, whether it's covers or tutorials, shoot me a message on my website via the link in the description box below, fill out that contact form, including the name of the song that you're interested in, and I will go ahead and write out that sheet music just for you. It'll be a custom arrangement. So if any of you are interested in that or have any songs in mind, definitely do that. So with this third solo break of Wagon Wheel, it is a little bit different from our other two. Our first two solo breaks were a little bit more beginner friendly, whereas this one is definitely more in the intermediate to advanced side of things. We have more going on, it's longer, and also we have some shifting to third position. So if that's not something that you're familiar with, I would recommend either you know coming back when you know how to shift or just maybe holding off on this one for now just because we are going to get into some some more intermediate to advanced terminology here but if not if you are familiar with that then definitely stick around because i know you're gonna have fun with this one all right so again we're in the key of a major we're starting down on the d string on our first finger e <laughs> All right, so pretty simple there. We've got our swung rhythm going on and we're just kind of going back and forth between the same couple of notes. Next, we have our swung eighth notes all in a row, starting on a high A. And then ending on a nice little scale there on open A. Next, we're gonna pick up with an eighth note and listen for this rhythm. It's a little bit wonky, so even though we, we're still kind of incorporating this swung idea for the rhythms, this one has some more ties and things like that, so just, just listen to it and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we go with that one. All right, so you probably notice that in addition to kind of the more funky rhythm, we also have more slurs happening. So I would encourage you to, once you have the notes, go back and try to pick up on the slurs if you haven't already, just based on that playthrough, and see if you can actually follow those slurs because it's gonna make it a lot easier, especially if you were to play this break on the faster side, it makes it more fun when we have a lot of slurs because it just makes it easier to play. And I'm sure you already know that. So let's continue with this next phrase. Okay, so we're shifting to third position for that A on a first finger. I apologize if you are already super familiar with shifting you'll have to excuse me with just kind of using beginner terms because that's what I'm used to. And if you are a beginner, if you're maybe newer to shifting, then maybe that's all right with you. Maybe that's helpful for you. But either way, we shift in the third position and then we kind of walk up with a little scale to our C sharp, which is the first note that we start on in this next phrase. All right, so as you can see, we're going just back and forth between that C sharp and open E. No need to do any more shifting, we just stay in third position. Next, we come back to first position and we have a whole bunch more swung eighth notes. So starting on F sharp, here we go. Okay, 
So making our way down to the D string. All right, so for this next phrase, we're getting closer to the end now and we are making our way down to the G string. So we're really covering the full spectrum, the full range that we have on the fiddle with this break, which is really fun once we put it all together. So we come down to the G string and we're starting on a C sharp. And I bet if you've played the last two breaks, you're gonna recognize this one. <laughs> All right, and as I've mentioned before in my tutorials on the last two breaks, I would also encourage you here to slur those triplets that we have just because it makes it easier. And in this case, we're not only slurring the triplet, we're adding an extra eighth note into that slur. So just to kind of keep it simple and make sure that our bow is in the right direction for the notes that follow. And then here we are at the last phrase, we're still on the G string and we're gonna finish this one out together. And that is it. That is the whole entire third break of Wagon Wheel. So hopefully now, if you've seen all three of these videos in this little mini Wagon Wheel series, you know how to play all of the solos from Wagon Wheel now, which is super exciting. Congratulations to you for making it all the way through to the end, if that's you. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video where we'll talk more about fiddle stuff. I look forward to seeing you then. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.